Hi guys. This is gonna be for my Aquarius. And this is gonna be from the first through the seventh. I do apologize for my tardiness. <sighs> and then I went live and I deleted the video by accident. So I'm gonna write YouTube by on if they'll respond and see if they'll recover it for me. Doggone it. That was last night slash this morning. I think I stayed up until like two something maybe or quarter to three or something like that. I got to get that video back. I'm going to try my hardest. I don't know what I was doing. Anyway, Aquarius, let's see what messages we have for you. Okay. So Aquarius, this is going to be for you. The Six of Swords. See, you're balanced. I see the Princess of Pentacles. This is a young Earth energy. This could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. They're very focused and they know what they want. I see the Four of, Fent four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles here. Um... This could be you maybe going and discuss something with someone. Maybe about counseling. Or maybe you're thinking about going back to school. I do see the Ace of Cups. We'll clarify some more. I do see the eight of, Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups. Okay, so let me show you. The Six of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, could be someone legal. But for some reason, I feel like therapy, therapy. Abundance, but this is, that's past energy, okay? See that you're talking to other, some people about, I guess, what you're thinking about. Might be a job interview. Might be a job interview. However, I do see you're very emotional and you're in your head a lot. You feel down and sad. You feel empty. But you will be out of those feelings soon. That's the Eight of Wands. And this is the Queen of Cups. This is a water energy. This is a very compassionate, loving energy, caring. Um, that's the Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. And I see that you shall be balanced financially. So let's see. Is this going to be about love? That was the Six of Pentacles. Giving and receiving. So let's see the Six of Swords. Six of Swords. Eight of Pentacles, Patience, okay? This was a new job interview, probably. You're probably thinking, or you just started a new job. Or you're about to. You're going to go within, and you're going to do some soul searching. If you see that you have that job, and you feel it, Put it out there or whatever it is that, it, that you're going after. Put it there, you know. Feel it. See it. Feel it. But go within and do some soul searching. Ooh. And the high priestess. Use your intuition, darling. And there are some things that you don't need to know. You will know within your intuition, okay? Go with them. Follow. Oh, I got goosebumps. Why? You need to use your intuition. 
You might be on a soul journey. Looking for your soulmate? Princess of Pentacles. Let's see. The Queen of Pentacles on top of her. Oh, this is about prosperity, fertility, sensuality, and a lot of responsibility. The Queen of Pentacles, that's like the money manager. She takes care of the money. She's about the money, 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 money. She cares about the welfare of others. And she um, is a, she's a capable woman who is both a mother and a businesswoman. So maybe that pentacles, maybe that's a child. I do see that this energy came very fast. I got the, um, the eight of wands. And it gave you a lot of inner strength and confidence and courage. Let's see the four of pentacles. So this might, this might be an interview. This might be something about money. <coughs> Excuse me. The moon. You might not be seeing things too clearly. This is counseling. You have some kind of instability going on. It could be anxiety and fear. Your mind. This might be counseling, but darling, you're making progress, okay? You're making progress. You have two paths to choose from. And whichever one you choose, just remember the grass is not always greener on the other side. That was the two of wands. But you're making progress. You're longing for something. And what are you longing for? Are you longing for a fire energy? Is that a Leo? An Aries? Or a Sagittarius? I see a fire energy here. And right after that came the abundance card. So you were going through something here. Something came unex or something came unexpectedly to you. Okay? Something that gave you abundance. Whatever it was you weren't seeing clearly, maybe you started seeing. And then something came to you or could be, like I say, that energy. Because there's abundance here and I do see the three of pentacles. The three of pentacles, that means the universe is building something for you. There's some kind of partnership, some kind of commitment. Collaboration, teamwork. And I do see that this is going to move you on to, um, it's gonna, you're going to be transitioning to calmer waters. Things will calm down. It was a little hectic, I guess. Something happened here because something happened really fast. <laughs> and something is about to happen fast again. Victory. This is the chariot. Chariot. You're going to overcome whatever um, obstacles you face. Unified love is coming. Partnership. Love. A very compatible person is on their way to you. It's coming slow and steady. And it's going to bring unexpected sources of money or income. And then the death card. There will be the, an ending... And a beginning, a transition, not necessarily death. Please don't look at the card like that. It's just about change. Shedding the old and bringing in the new. And this being the new year, so to speak. Then, um... Uh, 
um maybe that's why the death card is showing up so often in everybody's reading because that does seem like that's the theme change getting rid of the old and bringing in the new yes you are very sad why are you sad you lost something you have a deep sadness over you about something this came um the five of cups came over the eight of cups I think this is in your head because I see the things um, you're making some kind of investment. You might be investing in this new something that's coming. This is the seven of pentacles. Your hard work is paying off. It could also be finances. Just be patient and keep planning. Then the world card, success. There will be success. You might even go on a trip. But you're going to have a sense of belonging. Something will come full circle for you. Okay, that was the world card. Come on now. So the eight of wands. You're coming out of something. The star card. That's for sure you will. There's a lot of hope. This is a good omen. You will have contentment. Hmm, maybe. If you don't get out of your head. You're going to have to make some kind of decision. This is the two of swords above the, the star card. Or you might be having a little argument with somebody and you might just have to be the bigger person and you know call a truce but you got a decision to make and the decision might be a painful one it might have to do with some kind of contract or commitment this is the hierophant it could be marriage it could be to me okay commitment marriage it could be your beliefs could be a contract, another job. Or it could be marriage. You're thinking, you're making a decision. Should you marry this water energy here? This Pisces, I'm sorry. Yeah, this Pisces, this Scorpio, or this Cancer. Queen of Cups. The answer might be yes. Because this is the Nine of Pentacles. Independent. Successful. She has financial stability. So she doesn't need what you have. But you do have your own wealth. Just be patient. You need to balance a few things first and you need to find some peace. I got the temperance card. And then I got the wheel of fortune. This is destiny for you. Okay. It's good luck. It's coming. This is karma. Might be a soulmate. Now, it could just be a good friend, you know, because soulmates are not necessarily lovers or, you know, the end all, begin all or whatever you want to call it. Um, so it could just be a good friend. But this is good luck. This is a lot of good luck, but I think it has to do with love. The Six of Pentacles. I got the Empress. <laughs> Y'all might have a child. Because <laughs> she's very fertile. She's very nurturing. She's very feminine. Kind and caring. And then here came the King of Pentacles. Mature and grounded. You're going after the money, huh? Or you're going after the love. You're, you're going to do it. Whatever it is, you're going to take the risk. You gonna get married? But you're a little preoccupied with the money. And because of that preoccupation, you're gonna have a little conflict. I got the four of wands. So stop being preoccupied about the money and start thinking about that love. I love you guys. I thank you so very much. 
And I'll see you soon, okay? And I do again apologize for the tardiness of my videos.